Oh my goodness, Once this life there was so a mysterious. Boy. Once there was a boy. Hey guys, this is Anthony and welcome back to another video. Isn't this background amazing? We're trying to look for more, but we have some fan mail up here that I got from Newsies. I think it looks pretty awesome. So I don't know when you're watching this, either you're watching it on 4th of July or before 4th of July, which is today. But either way, happy 4th of July. Did I just make a rhyme? And that's really appropriate because I'm going to do another themed Q&A. And this theme is holidays. So let's just get straight into it. Welcome to another episode of Hoofing Boy Knows. Hoofing Boy Knows when he's answering cues, giving some answers, delivering news. Hold on guys, I need to shut the window real quick. There is some profanity from outside the house. Bay Tyler Cook wants to know what's my favorite holiday. And actually a lot of people ask the same question. So I am sorry if you're not the person I include in it, uh, but you made a good contribution to the video. My favorite holiday is by far Christmas because it's just, it just brings a great spirit just Everything about it, their decorations, movies, musicals, music, just everything. And the gifts and family and dinner and yeah. The world's a stage says most embarrassing holiday story. Well, I probably have a lot, so it's kind of hard to think of it. But one time on Halloween, I was at this house and I was going up to say trick or treat. And there was this like boy who was like a lot younger than me who jumped out from the bushes and went boo! And I screamed like a little girl. It was very embarrassing. Like, it doesn't matter that much, but it was really funny. And, yeah. <laughs> this quality looks so good. It will probably look less good in post-production, but you can see, like, my pupil really well. If you could create a dream holiday, what would it be? Be creative. What sort of tradi tradi bleh, traditions would it have? I'm picturing more of a Christmas, Halloween, Easter holiday, not just a day off school work type holiday. That's a really good challenge. It's really hard to think of one. I'd say maybe theater day, where you dress up as a musical theater character, and then maybe like a tradition would be like an improv game where you try to include all the characters in a game. It's a pretty cool game. I don't know if how it would work as a holiday though. And the holiday themed musicals would just be every single musical invented. Probably 3099 asks, what is the best gift you've ever got and what was the worst? It's really hard to decide what's my favorite gift because a lot of the things I own were gifts. So it's kind of picking like the best thing I own. But I'd say maybe tickets to Broadway shows that were gifts. Those were really awesome. But I'd say the worst gift I've ever got was Hugsy because he just won't stop shutting up. Isn't that right, Hugsy? Yeah, he knows I'm going to kick his tush. Do you consider your birthday a holiday? I don't really consider my birthday a holiday as much as I consider it a hallelujah day. <laughs> Favorite the holiday food? Favorite? Well, Broadway musicals, I'd say maybe pumpkin pie or duck, like the Christmas story ending. Hey, Kirkham says, what was your first ever Halloween costume? I think I actually have it right here. I'm pretty sure this is it. <laughs> It's a bumblebee costume. This was Celia's too, and I had it too, kind of as a hand-me-down. I wonder if I'd still fit in this. <laughs> this is a bad idea. Why did I do this? Put my arms through here. Okay, come on, head. Okay, yeah, it won't fit. My family's gonna kill me for doing that. <laughs> what's your favorite Christmas dessert, and what's a family dessert that you guys make every year? This is from Greg Garcia 24 Favorite Christmas dessert would probably be custard. A uh, family dessert that we eat every year is the ice cream made by my uncles, Mr. Dewey's, based off of nuts. Cashews, to be exact, it's the best. This doesn't actually have anything in it, sadly. What's your pin... What's your opinion? What's your opinion on the smaller holidays where we don't get school off? Do you think they count? Well, it depends what it is. If it's Martin Luther King Day, I'd say so. If it's National Run Up a Flag Pool and see if anyone salutes Day, no. That's a real holiday. It's on January 2nd. Bye, love you. <laughs> she always interrupts my videos. See, I don't get national holidays. I feel like it's an excuse for you to do something and it's all of a sudden a trending tag. Bye, Mom! Bye, honey! I see you from outside the window. I'm filming, by the way. Love you! Love you! Bye! <laughs> right. What's the weirdest thing that's happened to you on a holiday? 
Well, I've signed autographs in a Tweedledum costume. But yeah, that actually happened. I was Tweedledum on Halloween and Sully was Tweedledee um, in the 2014 holiday when we were in Philadelphia. And after Newsies, I signed in my costume, which is awesome, except I was really cold. So my uh, coat covered it up except for the propeller hat. So it was pretty much me just wearing a propeller hat and the fansies are just like, nice hat. <laughs> it was also like a fake propeller hat too, so. That was pretty hilarious. Oh, this was from Have We Gotten Used For You, by the way. Lily Time Agent says, where would your dream place be to celebrate any holiday? Example, we like doing going to Disney for Christmas slash New Year's. That's actually probably my answer. I would love to go to Disney parks for like any holiday. I really, I've always wanted to go on the Nightmare Before Christmas edition of Haunted Mansion. And I heard they have amazing fireworks on the 4th of July too. So there was just like, and parades, and I just would love to go there. That would be awesome. What holiday did you spend farthest away from home? Well, as far as where I was living at the time, I would say Pittsburgh, because we celebrated Thanksgiving there. And I lived at that time in Seattle, which was like, Ooh. What musical gives you the holiday spirit? Well, I mean, I did Christmas Story a lot of times, even on like Halloween and stuff, and it really got me into the spirit. Christmas is here, this long quiet night. It comes once a year, so you hold on to it tight. Oh, I miss that shit. What is your favorite holiday movie slash musical? That, oh, by the way, this is from Anthony's Fancy One. Great account. I approve. It has my stamp of approval on it. Maybe Holiday Musical is between Adam's Family and Christmas Story, again. Or movie? I can't really pick in total. I'll have to pick each one for Halloween and Christmas. I'd say for Halloween, maybe Nightmare Before Christmas. We count that more as a Halloween movie than a Christmas movie. Christmas movie? There are so many. Maybe at the top of my head, Polar Express. If you could get rid of one holiday, what would it be and why? See, I'm stuck between Columbus Day and April Fool's Day. And like, see, on that day, it's like you can't trust anyone. Like, you'll most likely be, anything could happen. Though Sally and I did prank mom with the art of stage combat. We did a thing where we were doing the down by the bank handshake game, showing mom, and then at the end, she accidentally slapped me. And we actually got her. Glitter? Glitter is scratching at the door right now. I don't know if you can hear. Here you go, Glitter. Glitter's in the house now. Come on, Glitter. Good girl. <laughs> oh, there she goes, right next to the camera. She's actually really good at not knocking it over. If there was a Hamilton holiday, what would happen? Well, for us, what we'd probably do is I'd read the Hamilton again, I'd listen to the whole Hamilton soundtrack again, and I would cry that I wouldn't be saying it. So it's pretty much wouldn't be different from any regular day. What happened at holiday celebrations at Newsies? Traditions, parties, fave memories, etc. Well, for Halloween, like I mentioned before, we were wearing our costumes, except when we were on stage, obviously. And I, oh my gosh, Glitter's laying down right next to the camera. That makes me nervous. And on Thanksgiving, like I said also before, on Pitts, at Pittsburgh, we ate together at the hotel. There was food out, we talked, yeah. So this was really fun. I like having the idea of like different themes for it too. And it would also make like new and interesting questions. So I really like this. Um, let me know which theme you would like to see next. And I will see you later. Goodbye guys. Da -na -na. Oh, and happy 4th of July, America.